We took the old barbecue and we're getting ready to strip it down, clean it out, and replace just about everything. So let's see how that works. Okay. We took the flavor bars and grills out. And if you can see in there, that's what happened to the one burner. It blew a gasket, let's say. Okay, and all we do is get a massive flame out of that back corner. Now that piece of wiring is a coat hanger. It's been there for 27 years. Since uh, the day we put it together, it fell down and I just propped it up and it's been there ever since. So that burner, instead of being like that, has always been like that. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, we're going to get all this cleared out. That there's the spark unit that hasn't worked in 15 years. Here we go. Let's see what it's like when we take it apart. And this is the tray that came out of it. Pretty disgusting, isn't it? Oh well. Next. And we're getting there, slowly but surely. I've just uh Spread these two bolts on the corners. Okay, but in the bottom you can see the buildup. And this is, like I say, 27, 30 years old. Let's say 30 to round it out. Almost 30. I had to put this center beam bar in because uh, the actual thing here bowed out. Now it's bowed in a bit, but it's okay. So we took the main tray out, and it's kind of gungy. I have to clean that off with a wire brush or something. I'll scrape it out a lot better than that. That's the main tray. And we come over here, and that's what we got in here. And let's see if I can put the uh, light on for a second. There we go. So we're, we're here, we're a little bit better. As we're in the echo chamber. Okay, but the problem I have now is beep, beep, beep. nothing's holding it down. So I've got to put a screw in here just to hold it down. Well, we found out what that problem was right there. That hole there used to have a bolt in it. It doesn't have a bolt anymore. So we're going to have to put one in. Hold on, out here. MacGyver at work. We kind of think we made it work here. We got a uh, flywheel nut on there, and it broke through the front casing, held on the back, put a big washer on the back, and held on with the screw right there. And now it's solid er okay we'll be good to put one in this corner maybe we'll see we shall see maybe well we decided to make it a little bit stronger and we put a bolt in here on this side and it'll fly over there I don't have a regular bolt but uh, that'll do and now it's uh, not going anywhere. Pulling up. Oh, awesome. Well, sometimes it doesn't work out perfectly, but we had to, uh, we tried to drill out the little bolt there. It didn't work. So we had to pop off the washers on these two over here. It's this one over here as well. Okay. So we're going to have to figure something out when we put the other things back in. Next step is to take these screws out I think and there's a third one over there somewhere so I can lift everything out Just spray them with WD-40 this one came out pretty good I have to get the other two out okay we got the old stuff out we had to bring the compressor in and you think it's just a little job and you need every single tool in your arsenal look at this mess just to get everything apart. 
And we've got the new stuff. We've got the new pipes here. And there's the new flavor bars. You'll see them. And I've had these new stainless steel grills for over a year. So, let's put it all together. And so far, we're just laying these in here. And they come out the side here. And the side here. Put this bar in and I'm hoping that it should be like that, I think. So I've got the bar backwards. Okay. Yeah, I've got the bar backwards. So I have to put the bar in again. And we got this stuff all done. That's what that looks like. It's all crispy new and I don't know how much you're supposed to leave these open. I'm just leaving it. There was a little bit of a gap last time. And I've sprayed it all out. Here, clean it out. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. And up on top, we've got, it looks like this so far. Let's get them flavor bars on. And this time we're going with porcelain covered flavor bars. Far no expense, right? Funny enough, they're the same price as the uh, steel ones. But anyway, so we're gonna get them on. And the only thing I gotta remember is down here. Hello, hello, hello. I gotta remember to keep this pushed back. Okay, this moves a little bit, but it's not attached to anything. I'm hoping that's right. I think this fell off. This little bar fell off on my original one. So uh, let's see what happens here. Yeah, should be interesting. And now we have flavor bars. Flavor bars, there we are. It doesn't look, it looks kind of foggy, doesn't it? Mm. Any better? No, not really. Anyway, flavor bars. Here we go, flavor bars. There we go. Awesome. Looks pretty good. It's pretty foggy, I don't know why. And we're all back together except for the tray. And the propane, we're going to hook all that up, put it back on the skid and see if it even fires up. But I'm going to take the grills off before when I fire it up because I still have to cure them and I'm not quite ready for that yet. Okay, this is just in case something happens. We've got the starter here. And this starter has got to be, whoa, eight, nine years old. It hasn't had fluid in it for probably five, six years. We just need the spark. So... We've got the tank on, everything's ready to go. We're just gonna turn the tank on, listen. Don't hear anything, so the valves are still off, which is good. We're gonna turn this one on. I hear it. We're gonna go under here. I smell it. some light there. Ooh, look at that, eh? Okay, we have that lit. Can you see that room? That's pretty cool. Okay, let's try the top one. That one's 
feeling good. That middle one. See the top one, but we're burning, and we have that burning there. I know that's burning. We know that's burning. How do we look in there? Hmm. Can we see anything through here? Well, we can see through there. It's shooting straight up, so it's got to be the middle one. Yep. It's got to be the middle one down there. So it's going good. So far, we're doing good. Awesome. Looks like a clean burn. I know this side's going to be way hotter than this side. Because we have that there. But we're... Nothing exploded. A little harder to start. i got to remember that, but... I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, flavor bars do your job. Close her down. That hasn't worked in decades. Okay, oh, smell that stuff, yep. Okay, let's turn her off, see what happens. Off, off, off. Oh, and there's my pump. Don't need that on. And listen for leaks. Awesome. Okay. Flavor bars can go on and get rid of everything. And we're done. We have a basically a brand new barbecue. Brand new Weber Genesis Gold. Yeah, I gotta put that shelf back on. Here we go. It's what, 30 years old? Mel, how old are you? There you go. It's probably 27, I think. 27 years old. Hey, here we are. Can you see the heat? Just the shadow of the heat coming off there. We had this going. And we're going to turn it off now. One, two, three. And we're going to open the lid here. And that's our bars. Okay, they're slightly scorched a little bit. Um... We can tell where the heat is right in the middle. Um, so what we're going to do is let it cool down a little bit. There's all kinds of ways of seasoning this stuff. And I don't know which is which and which is wrong and whatever. But we're going to try something a little different. They say heat them up to about 250, 300 degrees for 20 minutes. So that's what I've done. Uh, open the lid. Turn it off. Let them cool a little bit. And then what you do is, you've noticed over here on the left there, uh, we have uh, vegetable oil, Crisco, and a sliced potato and a fork. And we're going to stick the potato with a fork, run over the thing, and um, then we're going to heat them back up again. So we're just going to let them cool down a little bit. And go from there. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. Then I heat them up for about another 20 minutes on high. And uh, that's it. Then when I open up the lid again, I go over them again with the oil. And just let them sit and cool down. So we'll come back in about uh, five minutes when they've cooled down a bit. Okay, here we go. We're just going to stab one of these potatoes like this. Okay, and it's got oil in it. There we go. And we're just going to go get the excess off. You don't need a lot of it, apparently. And we're just going to go from here. That one, right there, and 
try this one over here. Up we go and down we go, up we go and down we go, up we go and down we go, down we go, up we go and down we go, up we go and down we go. And we're just going to make sure we've got everything coated. We don't want to put it on too thick apparently. Go down to here. Boom. And we'll just go down to everything here. Everything. Turn it back on again. I'm gonna have to get another lighter, I guess. some heat. One, two, three. And is the center one going? Yep. You can see that center one going. Mm, there you go, right about there. Straight up, that's the center one. So, we're on high, super high. Let's go just off of the super high. There we are. And we're going to let that go for 20 minutes. See what happens when we're done. Okay, we've done our 20 minutes and we can still see, maybe you can see, can't see, heat rising on the shadow there. But anyway, so we're going to turn this off. One, two, three. Whoo, look at that. I don't know why that happened, but you're going to get discoloration apparently. So it's all black. So we're going to go into our potato again. No. Looks like that, I have no idea. We're gonna let it cool down and soak that oil in and go from there. But apparently, that's what you're supposed to do. One way of doing it, I have no idea. So we'll just let it cool down naturally. And uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, that was fun.